everybody big eye trooper six here the golf gamer so check it out before i get into this video i'm gonna let you guys know you'll be hearing some type of noise in the background it's my ac going on right now i usually when i make a video i turn it off but it's fucking hot <laughs> i'm sorry it, it is fucking hot and i'm pretty much I need to cool down when I need to make this video, but sometimes I have the AC off, but it's fucking hot. But, um, yeah, pretty much, as the title says in this video, I bought a Nintendo Switch, and pretty much, I'm not joking, this is actually real and stuff. Yes, I bought a Nintendo Switch. I had it for about a month now. I just kept on pushing, pushing it off and pushing it off and pushing it off, see, see how the, everything works and stuff like that inside and out and overall it's a really good system it's a really good good system and my phone's going off because my girlfriend's texting me and I just got a recent girlfriend so yay I'm happy but um let me get my thoughts on the system tell you tell you what I like and what I don't like and go on from there so I'll be looking on the side because I, ha I have notes okay but um I bought this Nintendo Switch for about um, $210, so it's basically, basically used. And I got a pretty much Legend of Zelda skin. The front of it right there has Legend of Zelda stuff as well. And $210, that was the cheapest I could find. And that, that was to, including the, the Joy-Con um, with it and the uh, um, Nintendo Power Power Pack, Power, power Plug, you, whatever you want to call it. But, um, yeah... It was $210, and also I checked on eBay. I don't know if they still sell it, you know, this cheap. But I got this for, I think it's $27, and I put a skin on it on Macari. But yes, this was $27, just the dock itself. Pretty much, that's it. So I was like, okay, okay, cool. But, um, so $237 for a Nintendo Switch, and with the dock too, that's, that's not a bad deal. It's, it's really not because I like to find my stuff you know on, on the cheap side and pretty much this dock right here will make this switch with a few games like uh, okay barman that I have makes a freaking switch hot when you put it put it in the dock just like this it, it's easy enough to slide it in and out bam but yeah it makes this the, the dock hot it just I guess the, the the way that it had the design because there's vents right here on the back right here and there's no the, all you see is that so it's gonna get the get the switch hot just just let let you know I've been I've been mostly playing playing portable wise but it will get the switch hot but I played Octopath Traveler demo and it didn't get the switch hot but playing like hardcore games like maybe Breath of the Wild Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and you know Bomberman like hardcore games like that will probably make the switch hot just just letting you know okay but um what else I have 22 no 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 do what do I have I have 23 games yeah 23 games because I've been pretty much going the um, cheaper route I accept one game and I know it's gonna be worth its money and it's called Octopath Traveler eight characters you get to use eight different endings of each character so that's gonna be a lot of hours in, in that game so I bought the standard edition and also the um, the ultimate edition which is hundred bucks I usually buy collector editions that's worth like a hundred bucks I don't buy this like 120 or 200 dollars no but a hundred bucks is my, my price range on it but other than that I usually don't buy a full price games Okay, just just saying, I'm I'm mostly a freaking cheap bastard, but yes, I have Poi Explorer Edition. Thank you, Carnarian Gamer, for this showing me that game. I got this game for 15 bucks from Toys R Us. Gear Club is limited. It's not a bad game. It's not not a bad arcade racing game. Um, Aqua Motor Moto Racing Utopia, just like Wave Race 64. <laughs> that's basically what it is just just that wave race 64 feel uh, Splatoon 2 I've been playing a crap out of Splatoon 2 just the multiplayer I, I freaking love the multiplayer um, Gunvolt that right there is like basically a, a Mega Man game like actual old school Mega Man game Ultra Street Fighter 2 which I love Street Fighter games my, my favorite is Street Fighter Alpha 3 um, Cave Story 
arms. Which I'm playing that game. That game's a bitch. That game's a pain in the ass. No more he heroes. Which most of, most of these games I got for like 20, 20 or thirty bucks, not full price. I'm just letting you know. The only one I bought like full price was Octopath Traveler, and I, I pre-ordered it. Bomberman, which old school Bomberman, but Bomberman Super, Super Bomberman, and also Bomberman 64. Just it has that that feel to it. Uh, Mario Kart 8. Best believe I got this. Got this freaking cheap. <laughs> just letting you know. And Time Barbarian. And I do have more than that as well. I do have freaking Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Snipper Clippers, um, Mario and Rabbits, uh, It'll Do 2, um, Tetris Poyo Poyo, The End is Nigh. Um, I think that's about it. Oh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I do have that as well. And my, my friends are on that one. But yes, I have about 22 or 23 games for the system. And to me, the system's the system's great. The system is amazing. It just um, the battery life on that thing sucks. But also, I did buy some add-on stuff with it. Now this right here is a metal kickstand for your switch because I have the plastic one right here, and it's all bendy and stuff. It's all plasticky. And I did, I did not like that. But this one right here is pretty much metal. Easily snap on, snap off. You could you could take this off and put your SD card in, but it it's it stays. So yeah, it's it it's it's good. Um, but I don't recommend um, this right here. This dual bands basically is supposed to keep keep the switch from scratching. Um, from the dock, basically doing doing like this because if you if you seen the launch of the Nintendo Switch, people were complaining about the dock being being scratched. Well, this is supposed to pretty much um, help it a whole lot easier and stuff, which it's a, it's a little bit hard to hard to get out. I don't re recommend that, but I recommend uh, the Nyko, um kickstand for the Nintendo Switch because the other one it looks like just just cheap cheaply made. But yes. I don't recommend the, du the dual bands for this, so I'm, I'm probably gonna take it off uh, after this video. But um, what else did I have? I bought two Joy Cons as well. You can find find these on cheaper online. I'm just saying. I, I bought two extra Joy Cons. I bought a Ninten Nintendo Pro controller as well. Like I said, you can find these. I got this for like like 38 bucks, and I got my Joy, Joy Cons for like 40 online. You just you just have to look for it. You know, but some people just like, oh, I'm gonna buy it at the retail store. Why? If you check online, you can buy, you can buy, you can find it cheaper. But people don't want to wait. That's just that's just me. I I I I find it cheaper. I, I'll try to find a way to get it cheaper. Seriously. But um, what else do I have here? The cons. Yeah, the cons. Okay. I'm being I'm being real with you guys. This this is this fucking necklace. Um, the system's not great. The system's not great at all, especially the battery life. The battery life on different games. Okay, I'll play Splatoon 2. It would take me um, at least two to three hours before I run a battery life on here. And to me, that's not cool. I I like to play in long sessions. I like to play on my PlayStation Vita at least five hours straight. Um, play. Uh, Excuse me, playing Persona Five like five hours straight, you know, just playing that game. That's that's how I am. But two or three hours, that that might affect a few of you guys. It affects me, but you know, I could just easily charge it on dock and and play it from there. But the battery life is is, is short. Now, what else? Joy Cons. When I got this thing used, okay, you see this thing right here. It shouldn't snap off like that at all at all but there's little buttons as you can see right here little buttons you're supposed to pull pull it off so hit that button and it's supposed to snap like that okay look I didn't, I didn't even hit the thing that's the flaw of the joy cons and you're probably like wondering big ox how, how do you how do you how do you fix that 
How do you fix that? Well, if you check on eBay, they have this right here, little metal pieces that goes into the Joy-Cons, okay? If this was like five bucks. And the problem of it was Nintendo had the bright idea to pretty much, there's a little piece right here. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a little plastic piece right here that wears down. And pretty much you just replace that. Check on YouTube. People have videos of the stuff. Check on YouTube and pretty much do it, do it from there. But I'm going to show you the difference between this Joy-Con and the new ones. See? Using the right one. So, see? Now, I'm pushing it. I'm pushing it right now. See? Let's check out this other one. Okay? Yeah, that's the flaw of it. So, either way, it's going to wear down eventually. Just just let you know, it will wear, wear down. So, just check on check on eBay, check on Amazon about freaking getting, getting Joy-Con stuff. Um, metal, buckle, all that type of stuff. You'll, you'll be fine. It's like 10, 10 like, sorry, like 5 to 10 bucks. Just, you have to wait a, wait a few weeks and stuff. But, um, what else? That's about it. Oh, yeah. This thing does not have Netflix. Go go to it real quick. It has. It doesn't have Netflix or, or um, um, YouTube at all. All you have on an app to watch is fucking Hulu. That's all you have. Hulu. That's 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 about it. And I was gonna give it give it a 7.5 till I saw Hulu because I mostly prefer watching stuff on Hulu. I, I don't have stuff. Uh, a Netflix account to me, it has um, Hulu has more anime than, than Netflix. Just saying, and I watch more shows on on Hulu because it, it comes out first, then Netflix get the stuff. You know, so I prefer Hulu. But so I pretty much give this system uh, a eight. If you like to play a lot of games on the go, which me, most of the games on the Switch you can't get anywhere else. Most of the games. Okay, like Titan Barbarian, the physical copy, you can't get the physical copy anywhere else. Okay, um, this Aqua game can't get the physical copy because I'm a physical copy type of guy. I always will be. And when the after the PS5 or Xbox One ever ever like go past that, like the PS6, if it's digital, all digital like streaming, I'll be done. I I, I promise you that I I will be done with video games. I would be playing my old my old stuff because I am a physical guy. And this fucking necklace, oh my gosh. It's, it's annoying. I wear it all freaking time. But um that's about it. And Octopath Traveler download it. But what they need to improve on is basically battery life. The resolution on here on portable mode, I have no problem with. I thought because I'm I, I like freaking beautiful games, but the resolution on here, portable mode, I have no issue with it. Everybody was like being dis being disgusted about um, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 being like at a low resolution. I had no problem with it. And I, I have a PS4 Pro, you know, and I have no issue with it. That's, that's coming from, from me. I have no problem with it. And the screen size right here, what you see is that. I want the screen to be a whole lot bigger, like to the to the edge of each side, because it's only partial. They have like a little black bar all around it, as you can see right here. They, I want a bigger screen, which I'll I'll get the second version of this and give this one to my friend for like maybe like 150 bucks, maybe 120 bucks, because it's gonna be be a while since they make another version of the Switch. Just saying, but battery life. Bigger, bigger screen, probably a better, better processor in the system. But yes, overall, this system is great. It really is. If you if you like to play games on the go and main games on the go, it's it's a great system. It just be warned, the battery life portable is going to drain the heck out of it. You know, and look up the games that you want to play on it. My best friend, they bought. Got two two switches. They bought um, 
go was going to buy Pokemon Go. Let's go Eevee, Pokemon Go. But he's holding off on that because he's a big Pokemon fan. Um, he bought the Nintendo Switch just to play one game so far. One game, and that's fucking Zelda. One game just for Zelda. That's 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 insane. <laughs> Me, I try to go 10, 10, 10 games. Then I bought a system, and as you can see right now, I have 22, 23 games, you know. But anyways, that's about it. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about the Nintendo Switch. I think it's a great system. I th it's great portable, um, and yeah, it's it's an awesome system. But this is Big Ox Triple Six. Y'all stay awesome, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys, and sorry about the noise in the background. Hey, guys. Um, I totally forgot to mention this. I just like watched my video of this and I totally forgot about this portion of it. So I apologize. But um, Nintendo is supposed to have an online service, which is supposed to be 20 bucks a year. Okay. But um, right now, I've been playing online on certain games and also certain games people don't even play anymore at all. But the thing of it is, there's only a few games that people even play. And. Twenty dollars a year of only certain games. It's not not cool because I bought Gears Club Unlimited, which I showed earlier. Nobody's playing playing that game online. Like nobody. Everybody's playing Mario Kart 8, um, pretty much Splatoon 2, and that's about it that that I could even think of. I have not seen anybody else play pretty much um, Arms that I that I've I've seen. And also, um, the Opera Moto Racing Utopia. I've never seen anybody play that game at all. So it's only a certain few games that people are actually playing. Mario Kart, freaking Splatoon 2. Hell, I haven't seen anybody even touch Bomberman. Man. Nobody since, I, since I've been playing it. Nobody. And I'm just like, what's the point of having, having the stuff online if um, pay, pay online if nobody's playing it, you know? But I don't know. It just I prefer to have more people to play online on on the Switch. Hell, I play one person on Street Fighter one since I had the game one. Ever since then, nobody, nobody. And plus, this is glitchy. This is glitchy as fuck online. Like Ricky, very very lag. Capcom, fix your servers on this game seriously. But yes, hardly anybody I've seen play is is Splatoon and. Mario Kart. I know people are gonna play Smash, but it's all most mostly first party titles, so that's not cool. But yeah, I don't know. I'm just I'm just kind of ugh with the paying twenty bucks online for especially Nintendo stuff. I can understand PlayStation and Xbox because they have more games people are playing playing online on. But Nintendo, 15, fifteen million people, you know, there's no excuse of um, playing only certain games, but. I'm about to say casuals, but I can't. I can't actually just say casuals, but you know, it just sucks. But anyways, I see you guys next time. Y'all stay awesome. I just wanted to put that out there, just let you guys know. But I'm gonna edit this video and pretty much relax and wait for my girlfriend to show up later on today to spend time with her. But yeah, she surprised the fuck out of me. I I can't believe I met a, met a wonderful girl like this, really, and she's completely different from me. But anyways, this is Big Ox Triple Six. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.